So guys, I'm going to show you how to install a 12 volt uh, converter. So if you have 48 volts like we have here and you want to go to 12 volts for all your accessories, I'm going to show you how to install that. Before I tip, go into detail about that, I want to show you the old 12 volt converter. Here it is right here. You'll see a lot of these on eBay and Amazon. And they're like $13.99, $14.99, $20.00. This piece of junk right here. You don't want to put that on there. You don't want to put that on there. These are just absolute garbage. Let me show you the right one to use. The one you want to use is this one. You can see it's much better quality. It says made in USA. This is this is what it looks like. Um, you can t uh, just send me a comment in this video and ask me where to buy this from maybe I'll send you one or sell you one I'm not just trying to sell you something I'm trying to tell you don't put this in here and the reason you don't want to put this one in here is because of parasitic drain this one here pulls a residual amount of power out of the batteries and it will drain your batteries after like a month of sitting your batteries will be dead so never buy these these are just absolute garbage this is the one you want right here um, made by diversified power here, all the information is right here and I if you want one I'll send you one um, I can get it a little cheaper than what you see right here so basically the way this one works you'll have this actually has six wires coming out of it which seems maybe a little daunting but don't be worried let me show you how all these connect uh, the yellow wire is going to be your negative to the battery the blue wire is going to be your positive to the battery so right here Right there, your yellow is going to go onto the negative. The blue wire right here is going to go on to the positive. Did I, could I make that any simpler? Let me say it again. The yellow wire on this goes to the negative. The blue wire goes to the positive. Okay, is that simple enough? All right. Now, those are the input wires. Now, we go to move over to the output wires. So... Black is negative on output. Red is positive on output. That still leaves two wires left over. That's the uh, white and orange wire. So <clears throat> what do these two wires do? So um, in this case right here, uh, the orange wire is also an output wire, but it's switched, which means it's... Um, if you connect this white wire up to positive, it'll switch power on and off to that one there. So that's the one we're going to use. We're actually going to use the orange and the black wire, not the red wire. The, the red wire always has output. So like right now, the red, the, every, the, the 48 volts from the battery flow to the red wire and it provides continuous power. And that would mostly be like if you had a radio in here and it has memory presets you would connect the radio to this red wire so that it will save those presets even when you turn the key off. But we don't, we don't have a radio in this cart, so we're going to use the orange wire. The orange wire is switched. What do I mean by switched? Switch basically means that when you turn the key switch off up here, it's going to turn all the lights off. That way people can't accidentally leave their lights on and drain their batteries. So that's what we want. We want to use the orange connector. And, and here's the thing, guys. Don't do this. You see, see this right here? I did that because I was not paying attention, but that's a permanent connection. We don't want any permanent connections. What you want to do is this. This is a female and a male connector. They plug into one another. Here's how they look. That's what you want to put on the ends of these wires. That way you can unplug all of this and do it again. So, um, so anyway, that's, all that is pretty simple. The biggest problem is this white wire. This white wire is the switch. This wire here goes up to the main key switch. So when you turn the key off, everything shuts off. Now there was a guy that did a video and he was saying you could wire things over into this solenoid over here. And the way he did his is he, originally he took his and wired it into the positive over here on this solenoid. But his voltage converter pulls so much power that it would trip the computer, it would make the computer think that there was an error because these computers here, the, the, the um, control module, it senses how much power and how much amps is being drawn from these wires and if it senses too much is being drawn then it will trigger an error code and shut everything off. So that was his problem, he kept having 
um, drainage issues. And so in order to solve that, he went and got a 48 volt small relay that d doesn't draw much and he connected into that anyway. But that's not really the right way to do it. The right way to do it takes a little bit more. You have to pull the floor up. Here's the floor here. It just has two of these Torx screws here. You wanna go under the floor. You wanna go in the mat here. You wanna start from the top first though. So you wanna start up here from the top and I'll show you which wires to go to here to switch it. So if your cart has, this is an RXV, so if your cart has this gauge on it, this gauge gets 48 volts. So um, this is the plug that goes into the gauge. And the white, I'm sorry, the red wire that comes from that plug, that's where your positive 48 volts is. So again, I'm, I'm a big, I'm being very, I'm not a fan of cutting wires, but I cut these this wire and what we're going to do is put these terminals on it both a female and a male in that's what we're going to do there and then we're, we're going to make this pigtail up so this pigtail will um, reconnect those two up and give us a third outlet here that third outlet will go to the switched wire so anyway this you can just see what i did here it has a female spade male spade these will plug into those those are the two wires i cut and put those on they come out to a single end, which will go to the switched output on the converter. So anyway, in order to wire that up, start up here. We're gonna have to take this cowling off. It's just one screw here, and then three or four screws holding this dash in. Start at the top. You wanna run the wire from there, and then go down through here. Try to do a wider shot. But run down through there and all you're trying to just run it any kind of way you can just as long as it's not getting pinched but you want to get it in the floorboard get it up in here my light is not so great here so if I can get some light better um, but yeah you want to run it underneath the dashboard uh, underneath the floor panel and then come out back here so that's going to provide our switched wire so when you turn the key switch off the lights will go off so let me show you this again this is the plug that connects to this gauge. If you don't have this gauge, just connect it to the red. The red wire it goes to the key switch would be the same thing. So, um, <clears throat> the mine has the plug so it's easier to connect it here. And again, don't make a permanent connection. That's why I made this pigtail right here. This pigtail enables you to undo all of what we just did in case you decide you don't like this or you need to change it. You can just replug this plug back up where did it go everything's falling out of view so here's the plug and we cut the red wire and then we put a female spade and then we put a male spade and then we make this pigtail this pigtail will reconnect those two wires and it has this third outlet here that connects to that switch to wire that that extra wire that we brought up here here it is right here so um, can't hold the camera and connect all of these up but I think you understand we're just going there and then that switched wire the switch wire is, is plugging into the other end of this and that switch wire runs underneath the floorboard all the way back comes down and it goes to this white terminal it goes to the white wire on this converter Again, I want to talk about this parasitic loss. It's a really, really, really major problem. A lot of these will um, draw a residual amount of amps, maybe like 500 milliamps, maybe an entire amp out of that battery continuously, and it will um, destroy the batteries. It's a very major, major problem. I'm telling you, do not buy these. These are just absolute junk. You don't even have a switched spot. It just has red and black, yellow and black, this is the input, that's the output, and it's absolutely horrible, guys. Don't buy this, don't buy this. There's so many of them out there. Let me show you the box. Ugh. Here's a brand new one that the customer bought. These are all over the internet, all over eBay. They're very inexpensive, and they're very unreliable. They, they work, but they drain your battery, and you don't want that. So... This one here costs a lot more, it's $140 versus $15, but I'm telling you, it's far, far better to put this one in here. 
when I wired this one in, I did I did a lot extra. I actually have it connected to another pigtail. Let me get this out of the way. It's on a fused pigtail. So in case you want to store this long term, you can just pull this fuse out, or you can even just unplug this. Because this one probably has a little bit of residual parasitic drain on the battery as well, but nothing like that one at all. So I'm actually going to do a I got a um, current meter that I'm going to show you exactly how much this is pulling here in, a ne in the next video if I can. So, anyway, stay tuned for that. But that's how you wire it. Let's see if I can zoom out so you can see. Negative. Negative flows to the yellow. Positive. Flows to the blue. Output wires. What we're going to be concerned with is the black and the orange. Those are going to be our output wires. Don't use the red wire unless you have a radio or you have something that needs to stay on when the card is undone. I can't imagine what that would be. But radio is really about the only thing I can think of. But you would not use the red wire. You want to use the orange wire. The orange wire switched. The power is switched on and off based on the key switch with this white wire. And this white wire it's going to go to positive. Never ever connect the white wire to negative. And so um, in order to get this white wire to positive, we want to go up to the key switch and grab power only when the key switch is on, which is where this red wire that flows all the way up to the front comes into, comes into play. So anyway, that's it for that video. Please subscribe, guys. It takes a lot to make these videos. I could be making money, but I'm over here making a video, so it really takes a chunk of money out of my productivity. So... Um, I feel really great and um, I'm just trying to be as helpful as I can. It takes a lot to make these videos. I don't even edit my videos. I just throw them out there because I'm just trying to get as many as I can out there just to help you guys. I just don't have time to go home, load it into a video editor, do all the editing. It's just so much. Plus, i got customers. In fact, the customer's pulling in right now, so i got to get off the video. But anyway, I hope this can be of help to you guys. Have a great day. Please subscribe. Thanks. Bye.